Thank you. Thank you very much. And, and if the flag bearers, if you could just stand by your flags yet during our national anthem, and then you may go back to wherever you feel comfortable at. Brittany Brenton from Plymouth Christian Academy will now sing the national anthem. And for your information, in case you didn't see, the American flag is here, so if we could face that, please. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets reckless the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say would like to just say a few words to all of you worldwide contestants. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Cook. Good morning. And welcome to Lawrence Technological University. This is a world championship and not everybody is allowed to compete. You are one of the 550 teams that were competing and you are 70 out of those. That means you have already advanced in this competition. So give yourself a round of applause. I want to thank all the student participants, parents, coaches, the staff members, the organizers, our staff, because they have done an enormous job to bring everyone together for this championship. Please understand that this hall right now represents men and women who are going to be leading the world in the future. Because robotics is the future of the world. Not only robotics are used in technology, in the cars, and buildings and everywhere, but they're used in health area also. Now you see the hospital using robotics to do major operations because it removes the human error. Now there is a car being designed which will be on the road soon, which will be all automatic, self-driven, because it will remove all the people who are doing text messaging and all the stuff. The car will be safer. So robotics is the future. They are the reason why America will maintain its leadership in the free world. And if the whole emphasis on you, the future generation. I'm also very pleased to welcome other countries and their students and parents and participation from our neighbors, Mexico and Canada, and also Korea, South Korea, China, Brazil, and India. I think I covered them. India, China, Brazil, uh, and, so, uh, and are these the BRIC countries, the, the countries which are going to be the economic leaders of the world, and uh, we're very pleased they're represented here. Lawrence Track, very quickly, has a great reputation in robotics. We, have, we are the second university in the whole country that actually gives a degree in robotics. The second in the country. There are only three universities in the country that have actually a degree in robotics, bachelor degree. So consider that. We also give scholarship to students who are here, who will consider coming here. Why Lawrence Tech? Well, a young man, 15 year old, his name is Steve Bomber. How many of you know Microsoft? Let me see some hands. The CEO, the president of Microsoft is Steve Bomber, not Bill Gates anymore. 
So Steve Ballmer came here. Her, his mother used to drive him as a 15-year-old kid to come take courses in uh, high-level math at Lawrence Tech. After he finished here, after two years as a high school student, he then was admitted to Harvard University, not as a freshman, but sophomore. They gave him one year advantage because he had math classes at Lawrence Tech. Now listen to this. After he goes to Harvard, he checks into his dormitory. Who is his next door neighbor? Bill Gates. <laughs> and they became what he called math buddies. So Steve Palmer was here on March the 8th. We gave him honorary degree. He talked about emotionally his experience at Lawrence Tech. And that opportunity is available to all of you as well. One more example to inspire you. Two brothers who were Lawrence Tech graduate in electric engineering, they were the ones who designed the sensors on the rover that landed on the Mars. This is, this is it. The robotics is uh, huge at Lawrence Tech. I want to consider you to look into those possibilities. Wherever you go, please follow your dreams. We are very glad you're here. We thank everyone who's associated with this. And I wish you all a fabulous day. And please help me also thank Brittany, who did a great national anthem. Thank you very much, Dr. Mario. A good hand for the progressive also, please, thank you. Fantastic. As you know, this game floor is very crowded. We have all the teams, people been coming up and saying, but it, it's exciting to have us all together in one spot. I love this, and I hope you do too. This is gonna be an exciting day today. Um, I normally introduce all the teams, but they will be introduced as we go during our competition. I want to get these games underway as soon as we can so that we can try to get this out of here on time. There's a lot of things going on. So you probably all have a program, and in the program all the teams, and you know that they are from many countries. However, I do want you to know our judges and our proctors and they're mainly all up here by me. If they're not, I hope they will come up. They have red shirts. Um, I'm the only one of the few guys that doesn't have a red shirt, so you can see me. And I'm just gonna pass the mic around, and if they would just say their name, or where they're, what, they, what they're judging, just briefly, so at least you get to know them, and then we're going to use the projector on the wall, so don't run away, and we wanna go over some simple rules. And then our chief game judge, will give you the unknown problems for today's games. I hope this will work when I walk in front of the speaker, but we'll try. All right, I'm Professor Keith Bozen from Lawrence Tech. I'm the senior exhibition judge today. I teach uh, physics and chemistry. Eric Patrick, exhibition judge junior, Lawrence Tech, I can't call you. Thank you. 